But first, we're joined by one of the stars of Waterford's last All-Ireland hurling triumph, way back in 1959. Now the full back on the Waterford team that day was Austin Flynn. I'm delighted to say he's with us tonight, still looking as fit as a fiddle. You're very welcome. Have you great memories of, of winning that? Oh, well, I have great memories of all that era. It is, you know, it was, it was a marvellous time for Waterford. And um, from the 57 and 59, it really started in 57 when we were summoned to a meeting over the front of the field. And this is something new because there hadn't been any collective training going on prior to this, but a new county chairman had emerged at that time named Pat Fanning. And uh, he made a speech there that, that I can still remember exactly what he said 50 years ago. <laughs> and uh, he, he addressed the group and he said, uh, <clears throat> as God was his judge, he believed there was a winning of an All Ireland for Waterford, and he stressed for Waterford, not for the players. Uh, in this t group of fellows here tonight and to take total commitment on year part is that you would have to give until it hurts and then you dig down you'll find a little bit extra to give more for Waterford jersey and uh, Cork have their tra traditions with their jerseys and Tipperary having two or we have it too he says it's easy to keep going if you're winning yeah. but if to lose and get up back on your feet and keep going that's the great trade so in returning, he said, I guarantee my part as chairman of the county board, I will do everything possible to facilitate that goal. So I remember at that time I looked across and I saw Philly Grimes and Seamus Power and they were my idols and I didn't think I was in the same class as these fellas and I suddenly got alarmed. Gee, hey, this is serious stuff I'm involved in now. And I had, shortly before that, I had persuaded my brother to build a sailing boat. And I was really enjoying myself between the sailing and playing with the vi my own club, the village. But I knew that the sailing was gone out the window that night. <laughs> well, so that started it. Yeah, and it culminated with you playing Kilkenny. Now, it was a replay where you won it. The drawn match, though, I found it extraordinary, Austin. Waterford scored 117, Kilkenny got 5-5. Five five. Yeah. Only five points in the whole match, but they yeah. got the five goals. Yeah, they must have had... What was a bad full back bad because back. every one of those <laughs> every one of those goals had to pass in before they got as far as the, the goal people. But there were an awful lot of goals that year, weren't there? Well, you see, in, in that time, um, <clears throat> it was open season on goalkeepers. There was no such thing. Uh, you could charge them. Uh, yeah. yeah, and the full backs play like was dominated with the the trying to protect the goalkeeper from a full fo from a foul yeah. rushing in to bundle him into the back of the net like you know well it, you drew that anyway and the replay comes along now were you favorites for the replay or were kilkenny i'm not sure about that now, i'd say kilkenny might have been because you see it was a goal in the last minute by seamus power and us the, the replay we, we nearly had it lost but we were out then we were training then out in Dunhill, which is about six or seven miles outside waterford and um, in an isolated place, so there wouldn't have been much transfer at the time. So we used to have our team sandwiches out there, and um, John Keane, I thought, the, I thought the fact is John Chasty. Yeah. You know, Chasty. I've got a lot of scores for you. Chasty was something special. There was nobody like Chasty yeah. who could bob and weave yeah. and swing. He had a unique uh, skill about that, you know, and he really got the crowd going. When Chasey got on the ball, everybody started shouting, come on, Chasey, you know. Well, the crowd really got going at the final whistle. I mean, what, yeah. what do you recall of the celebrations and the homecoming? The celebrations, um, I remember getting, going back out to, first of all, on the field. I saw a few photographs afterwards. Uh, and I went, my mother was in the second row in the front. She was about 63 at the time. But at the time, I thought she was 100. I was <laughs> about 26 <laughs> and somewhere in 63. But I remember I got a photo of her. But after I was looking, I was really gone after it. 
So we got out to Malahide and uh, I was up in the my room with Tom Cunningham and I had a shower and we were going down and I suddenly realised, hey, I can't see you properly now at all. I said, you better tag along with me. So when I got down, Tom Cunningham told somebody I was in trouble. So uh, Paddy Keneally, ultimately, he brought me into the canteen, into the kitchen and, and um, he gave me a mug of tea and he threw a pile of sugar into it. So that solved the problem. He said, you, you had too much, you lost too much energy. He said, that's what's wrong. So I missed a lot of the the meal effort at the time, you know. I know, but the meal is nothing. You had the other early yes. And no one has it in 50 years. Well, yeah. of course, Waterford are in action next weekend again against Limerick. And there's obviously going to be a big media focus on that game because it sees former Waterford coach Justin McCarthy now in charge at Limerick. Well, Austin, there was such massive Waterford interest and, and such passion in the final last year and then yes. bitter disappointment. Do you think the Waterford fellas can get over that? Uh, I think so, there's, you see, as you said, that show there is about talking about 50 years ago. Yeah. Well, what people don't realise, Waterford supporters have been living in hope for the last 50 years going to these matches. So in the last 10 years, um, the, the team went close to getting to the All Ireland and uh, last year we succeeded in getting there and there was a big hype and great expectations of so it was a huge disappointment then obviously to the players and to the followers so uh, it was a shattering defeat there's no getting out of the way of that and Kilkenny nobody would have been Kilkenny on the day but we didn't we could have done, should have done better than we did mm. so it's a question of picking ourselves up so next Sunday is the time to show whether we picked ourselves up or not. We had a, sort of an indifferent league campaign, although we did beat Cork and Kilkenny. But everything hinges on next Sunday. It's vital for Waterford to have a win. And the lads have something to prove. And uh, there's also, whether we like it or not, there's a question of Justin, the Justin factor. Now, Justin gave seven years, great years to Waterford, and we won three national, with three Monster Monster championships in the National League. And it was a pity uh, it ended up as it did with Waterford. But only Justin moved on and the lads have moved on. But next Sunday is vital. You know, the disappointment that was there will have to be, they'll have to win next Sunday, in my opinion. Okay. Well, Declan, it's also a huge day for Limerick, obviously, and Limerick will kind of fancy their chances, will they? Yeah, well, uh, you know, it'll be a bit like the, the extra Dublin game semi final coming up. It's a game definitely both teams are capable of winning. And Limerick, um, you know, they had a poor year last year following from the, the previous year when they reached the other and final. So they have a lot to prove as well. And obviously, Justin, there's a, there's a lot of spice to this game. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I, I think maybe. Not to read too much into the Justin thing, I think both teams will be desperate as, as a group of individuals to, to prove that you know, they're on the recovery. Who do you think will win it, Michael? Well, just in general, I think Limerick against Offaly last year was at the match. The Limerick team were booed off the pitch. They're under just as much pressure in, in, in a different way as Waterford. Waterford at least got to a final and were beaten. So there's a lot, lot of question marks over Limerick from last year. Um, I think Waterford will win it. and. Uh, I think Austin Flynn has a future in the Sunday game after tonight. <laughs> we'll enjoy his company. All right. Well, look, my thanks to Michael, to Declan, and especially Austin, uh, for joining us tonight.